Today, we'll show you a simple and affordable way to grind and polish mineral stones at home. We've worked with minerals like lazurite, tiger's eye and lapis lazuli. This method can be applied to other minerals as well. We'll compare the raw lazurite before and after polishing. In our previous video, we demonstrated how to polish raw amber into a finished jewellery piece. Today, I'll show you how to work with mineral stones affordably. You can either dry grind the minerals using grinding pads, which cost around 22 euros, or wet grind as we do. The tools we'll use include a grinding and polishing machine, a diamond grinding wheel, and various grinding pads. The total cost is just over 100 euros. For effective grinding, water cooling is ideal. Professional grinding equipment can be very expensive, up to 3,000 euros. However, you can build your own setup and save a lot of money. In addition to the grinding machine, we used a large plastic box and adapted it. We also need a 5 volt water pump. For safety, always wear protective goggles and a mask. You can find the materials we used in the video description. We start grinding with an 80 grit diamond wheel. The water keeps the work surface cool and minimizes dust. Grinding with bare hands wasn't dangerous for me, but I recommend using latex gloves for beginners. Starting with an 80 grit diamond wheel speeds up the process and gives the stone a nice shape. Achieving the same result with grinding pads would take longer. Most of the time was spent grinding with the 80 grit diamond wheel. Grinding on the diamond wheel with grit 80 took the most time. Now the lazurite is roughly ground. After the initial grinding, we use pads with a grit of 200 to refine the surface. These pads are easy to mount and are relatively cheap compared to diamond wheels. The pads have the great advantage that they are very easy to mount and are also quite inexpensive compared to the diamond wheel.
when using electrical devices in a wet environment, it is always advisable to use a socket with a residual current circuit breaker. Here you see how quickly and easily a 400 pad is installed. For further processing, we use the pads with Velcro fastening and a grit of 200. This further refines the surface. Most minerals can be ground and polished in this way. Only the very hard stones, such as topaz, rubies, emerald or sapphire, must be processed with a diamond wheel. Further processing is done step by step. After 400 comes 800, 1200, 1500, 3000 and 6000. The pad discs attach well due to the use of Velcro fasteners. The pads were invented to process large stone surfaces such as granite or marble. Therefore, they are significantly cheaper than diamond wheels. After the final polishing process with the 6000 grit, the lazurite now looks like this. This is the best shine we can achieve with this method. Our work took about 10 minutes. Here you see the comparison, how the raw lazurite looked before and how beautiful it became afterward. Here are some mineral stones that we have ground and polished in this way. Have you had any experience with grinding and polishing stones? Share with us in the comments. We warmly invite you to visit our Amber Museum. The Amber Museum is a rare and fascinating attraction in Nuremberg, especially for Amber lovers. For our viewers, admission is free. On this occasion, you can purchase a beautiful souvenir in our attached Amber shop. A wide selection of attractive pieces of jewellery from our workshop can also be found in our online shop. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We are happy to produce more interesting films for you.